Welcome back, dear viewers, and our second guest of the evening is Majid Al Kandiri, international cosplayer. Majid, good evening, and it's really a real pleasure to have you again with us on Hello Kuwait. Well, pleasure is on mine, and thank you for having us again. And I'm so happy to see you again, man. Yeah, and, and congratulations. Yeah, definitely. It's my pleasure to uh, do an interview with you again, and congratulations for your latest achievements you are doing and you're doing great when it comes to cosplaying and you're dedicating yourself to be better and better day by day so a lot of uh, our dear viewers are wondering when it comes to the word cosplaying or being a cosplayer will you please explain it to us more okay well like uh, a cosplay I mean it's a costume and a play so it's a hobby a Japanese hobby that in, uh, went overall in every country through the group to every artistic uh, man or woman passionate with art. So in cosplay, they can see and find a lot of hobby like acting, designing, uh, dealing with many s art and many materials. So in cosplay, beginners, whoever willing to go to cosplay world, they start with recycling so they yeah. can do some of the props because this is the easiest way until they reach, reach the level they want so can do it from zero to the props they want to finish it well that's uh, really great F if someone's wondering um, what to do exactly as a cosplayer like well as a cosplayer what to do exactly in every event there is this community that go and enjoy this event while wearing their favorite superhero, favorite character, exactly. which is from movies, games, anime, m Japanese anime, and also uh, cartoons. Exactly. For example, mine was uh, that I never did, and I'm willing to do now, I'm working on it, Iron Man. That's I great. see a lot of people who's doing Iron Man with such th those red metallic colors, with the whole full body armor, with the electronics. You're impressed with that? Yeah, I'm here. very impressed with this quality of uh, cosplays. So they go to the event, enjoy some time, meet up with the same passionate friends and community. Also, they compete in some cosplay competitions so they can show the audience and the people their level in cosplay and how to act and live the character on stage with some spe special performance. Exactly. So, uh, Majid, let's go to some, or share with our dear viewers some historic informations. We would like to know, when did you start being cosplaying? Well, uh, when I was young, of course, in 2013, it was That's my cool. first uh, game and anime convention. It was a gift from my parents. They know I have this passion about video games and movies and arts, so it was a gift. They uh, they drive me all the way from Chalet That's to the Kuwait City to see this event that contained many huge number of cosplayers and many artistic people that can they give many workshop about how to be a cosplayer, and I was so impressed. I was so like. I was running through every booth to know how they can do this and how to manage to make that to learn. Be and that's how it started from yeah. 2013. Yeah, and it's uh, great, Majid, you can separate like from your uh, real life character and from the characters you cosplay. Yeah. Uh, we notice some people who make cosplaying, sometimes they get so much engaged with some of the characters they uh, like to cosplay and tw it might result them like wearing the similar clothes when it comes to their real life not so much similar but you can see the reflections of the characters on them so when it comes to cosplaying uh, Majid uh, what kind of cosplayer do you consider yourself when it comes to the whole cosplay because it's uh, a huge field well uh, considering myself I would love to say that uh, I'm a fan of movies and games. A cosplayer that loves movies and games That's great. more than anime and mangas, Japanese manga. But from now, I need to go for more and more in those community, the Japanese and manga and anime community, exactly. because you know 
people when they invite me to their convention and their events you're now uh, you're called an international so you need to go and mix with many many communities and you have to get to know those people so you should be known with many categories as they say so you have I have to go and impress them with new things work with the new communities with the new people with the new organizers so they can know that in our community in the Middle East we have passion for all of this artistic things and uh, the esports exactly. or whatever it's called anime community manga and like that yeah uh, so when it comes to cosplaying uh, it includes different categories and some people you've noticed since you are an international cosplayer there's a lot of people who prefer some few categories it might be different from the category you're adopting when you do uh, cosplaying have you heard like people sometimes you know some people they might uh, criticize you or they give you uh, their notes and some people they might say I don't like this cosplay you are doing how do you answer them so uh, for this answer as an international cosplayer you should be smooth with them and exactly. calm as much as you can because you need to make this uh, person in front of you understand what is your cosplay and what is the character what is the personality exactly so I, I, I dealt with many people like that in Kuwait Middle East and even outside so first of all you need to calm down and smile a lot to that exactly. person who's talking to you and give some positive notes and positive talk showing the good side of this uh, maybe character if it's horror for exactly. like some of for example uh, I had this uh, comment from Instagram I was co I w and I was in Dubai cosplaying uh, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat so there's some guy he said okay you have mistakes and cosplay and Scorpion is a horror character I said okay it might be because of the eyes and the new design because this design is not famous yet exactly. it was uh, um, the movie design it was not known yet. Properly yet yeah yeah so I showed him some pictures and talked to him about this new design that's gonna be in the global soon and people know so when I showed him the new design that is officially from the movie he started to know more about this new design and the new impressed. look yeah and he got impressed he That's said big. oh my god yeah okay how did you manage to do this and it's not really released yet I said okay you need to go to companies and talk and share with them your passion so they can like promote you to some of their new uh, latest work and you also need to check the new trailers of the movie so you can like continue building whatever you want to build exactly. so you can be unique Exactly. So let's stay on the on you, like being the international uh, cosplayer you are. Okay. You go to different places and you meet different people, including the beginners. Like there's a lot of people who are interested in cosplaying. They are beginner beginners, and they might go into competition. They're competitors also. How do you deal with them, like with new people in cosplaying? So as an international judge uh, or cosplayer, you need to. Uh, take care of those small community the beginners one because they are the let's say they are the basic for that this is they are the future for this hobby so you need to be uh, more positive cheering them supporting them with with the whatever you have because as I said they are the future they are the next generation uh, is, and that's what I do in Kuwait any youngest beginner I that's like great. hold them and take care of them that's teaching great. them giving them steps about how to be not a professional but a good person who exactly. love his hobby exactly and who, who is willing to take care of this hobby so they can continue and the generation should continue to build this to make a bigger community uh, representative of Kuwait and Middle East you know that's what like the international cosplayer that should be exactly. taking care of the next generation exactly 
you're paving the way for them and you're guiding them like yeah. uh, to yes. be good uh, cosplayers and you can discover also what do they like the most when it comes exactly. to uh, cosplaying categories so you mentioned Majid uh, that you are international cosplayer and you're also uh, an international cosplaying judge so when it comes to being a cosplaying judge what are your missions exactly? What do you do and wh what type of work you do when it comes to competition? Okay, so as a judge, in many events, you have a specific work you need to do. Uh, let's say for a judge, there is a competition, there is a cosplay competition or a cosplay summit, like the word cosplay summit, uh, that's known in Japan. But as overall, the cosplay contest, your mission and your work is to judge the competitors and being a judge is not so easy as I thought about before being a judge. Uh, you should be absolutely smart with have a background about the, maybe the game who's the participant doing from uh, the anime, the movie, the character himself. So you can like if it's come to the prejudging which is going face to face with the participant exactly. talking about the custom and how did you made it and how did you put this and that on together to uh, do what you are doing now uh, you have to know the materials so you can ask him and take and talk with him also you need to be a polite with uh, cosplayers and the participant because you know uh, you are dealing with many different type of people so there's the aggressive there's the people who are afraid to talk there's people exactly. who are afraid to talk and afraid to like expose their uh, uh, materials and they don't know how to bring the information and let you know what they're doing so you need to know how to deal with people and you know how to communicate with those that's uh, how you should talk as a judge but let's go as uh, in the, during the contest itself the performance you need to separate your feelings exactly. your, uh, your uh, feelings and your emotion because I've, I've dealt with many judges before they have this uh, small issues and you know they are it, we are judges in the end exactly. and we are still learning so they said sometimes oh I love this character but he don't focus on the performance he just love the character so he give points for the character not about the performance oh I love this game oh, oh my okay he's my friend I should like go easy on him in the competition in the competition you should be fair you should be uh, organized you should know that all the participants they are one exactly. one level there is no exactly. uh, there is no one is higher than anyone and your mission is to pick the one with uh, a strong background so if people can ask you why you picked this you know what how to answer if the organizer of the event asks you what is the qualification for this winner that you made him win you, you know how to talk and you know how to represent your points definitely. to the organizer himself or the people or the participants exactly definitely so you've attended uh, a lot of exhibitions yeah. internationally all over the world you've uh, attended also workshop seminars classes coursework and we see you have uh, your documents with you yeah. here uh, tonight so tell us Majid what are most of the things you're proud of when you are an uh, international uh, cosplayer well the most thing I'm proud of is when I go like when I go outside in the Middle East uh, the most proud thing that I have the chance to represent Kuwait and Middle East over there to let the people know about our community and our artistic people that we have passion we are such a huge community with many strong level that can grow this generation and the upcoming one so this is the most thing I'm proud of let them know that we are here we are strong community we are loved community we welcome other communities to our exactly yeah yeah so you have picture to share with us uh, yeah the, yeah well this is one of the events i attend in dubai it was called middle east film and comic-con it was uh 2022 
and uh, I was a judge and a right. workshop organizer. That's great. You can see over here. Yeah. There's That's two certificates. And this one, I was in Oman. That's good. Uh, before a few months as a judge also and a special guest over That's here. Right. Yeah. And also my big achievement from uh, higher in Institute of Drama Art, yeah. Dramatic Art, yeah, you can my show bachelor yeah. degree in That's decoration great. designing. So yeah, as you see, great I chose my uh, bachelor degree and career, inshallah, my career on what I love, on my hobby. Well, so uh, we all, it's all serve the same line. Well, such a great uh, story you shared with us, Majid, during our interview tonight. We wish you the best of luck with future endeavors. You. You're progressing, mashallah, so good. And uh, we hope you do better achievements and higher achievements also, alongside with your great current achievements also. Thank you so much. Thank you so and much. It's a pleasure having you, uh, being here again with you. It's always a pleasure, and we wish you again the best of luck with your future endeavors. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much, Majid. Thank you. Dear viewers, we just had with us Majid Al Kandiri, international judge and cosplayer. So let's go to our third report of the evening. It's about Ankara. Let's have a look at it. Stay tuned.